Okay then, my friends. So currently inside this post details component, when we dispatch an action down here, we're creating that action directly inside the dispatch method. And that is absolutely fine. It all works. However, to achieve a better separation of concerns and to make our code and actions more reusable, a lot of developers would prefer to use action creators to create these actions in separate files. Now, action creators are just functions. And what they do is they generate an action for us. And then when we call that function, if we were to call it right here, it will generate an action for us and return it right here so we can dispatch that action. Now, it might seem weird at first, but this is going to help us with asynchronous code later on, definitely. And also, if you wanted to dispatch the same kind of action from different locations, you could do that easily as well because we've got one action generator and we don't have to retype out all of our actions. We can just call a function. So this is what I'm going to show you in this video. To begin with, we'll create an actions folder down here. And then inside, we're going to create a new file. And this file is going to be called post actions. So anything to do with a post would be going in here. Now we're just going to create one action created to begin with. And that is going to create an action to delete a post. It's going to create an action which looks very much like this thing over here. So we'll say export first because we want to export this const and then the function called delete post. So that is equal to an arrow function. We're taking the ID as a parameter. Remember, we need to include that in the action. And then all we return is an object. And this object, make sure you spell return correctly. This object represents the action that we're returning. So it has a type and that is going to be delete underscore post. And also it's going to have an ID property and it's going to be equal to the ID that we receive right here. But again, remember bit of ES6 refactoring. If we have a property and value, which are the same name, we can just say this and that's going to do the same thing. So that's all there is to an action creator. We're just creating a function which is returning an action. So now what we could do in this file is we could call that function right here. So instead of writing out this by hand, we'll call the function, but we need to import it first of all. So at the top of this file, we want to import and it's called, let's just have a little look, delete post. So let's type that there and we want to import it from and then we have to go up out of the current directory because this is in the components folder. So dot dot forward slash. Then we want to go into the actions folder and then we want the post actions. OK, so now we've imported this thing right here, this function which generates an action for us. So down here we can use that function. We can just call that function here. So delete post like so, and we can pass in the ID, which we receive here, because remember this action creator expects the ID because it passes it right here to the action. So all this now should work exactly the same. And if we try it, it should still work. So delete and it works, delete, it works, delete, it works. Cool. So that's all still working. And you might be thinking this at the minute is overkill, but again, the more you use dispatches in different components, the more you'll be using action creators like this. And especially when we come to do more complex things like asynchronous tasks to go out and grab some external data.